Hey guys, welcome to Indie Style. I am your host, Leah Devon. We have a really exciting show planned for you today. Today you are going to meet one of the owners of Baz Brothers Productions. They are an independent production company. They're based here in Atlanta and they also have offices in New York. We're going to talk a little bit about their company and meet one of their one of their CEOs. You'll also hear music from one of their Billboard chart-topping artists. His name is Noel Gardine. Stick around. We'll be right back. Here on Indie Style, we'll feature successful entrepreneurs from across the globe who are making incredible strides in their industry. You may not know their names yet, but you soon will. I'm Leah Devon, and this is Indie Style. And if you are just tuning in, we are back with Baz Brothers Productions. This is one of their CEOs. Her name is Maria Bazil. Welcome to Indie Style. Thanks for having us. I am so excited, you guys. They are doing so many wonderful things here in Atlanta and also in New York City. Yes. So you guys are a full-service production company. We are. We are a full-service independent production company. We specialize in stage productions, film, as well as web series. Um, we have, as you know, our latest film coming out, Love and Success, which we'll talk about a little bit later. We are very excited. I've seen yes. some of your red carpet um, events online. They look fantastic. You guys have had a, lo had a lot of turnout. Well, talking about the company a little bit, we um, we started in 2003. Okay. Uh, Jeff is here in Atlanta, and Kendrick is in New York, the Bass Brothers. Bass themselves. Brothers, so they're brothers. The company, okay. Yes. Um, <laughs> we, uh, we do film, stage plays, web series. We do the red carpet. But with Bass Brothers, we always want to have a great business ethic and professionalism. We demand it in everything that we do. So when we're looking at the pictures, we're looking at the red carpets, even the interviews, you know, we want it to be a step above because that's what's going to get us through this industry. And that's truly what's pulling and moving forward the best for the name is the professionalism that is attached to it. Well, and if you have the opportunity, which of course I did and I'm, when I was researching your, your company, I mean, your movies are beautiful. Oh, I would not be able to tell you know, that it's not Hollywood film production company. The quality is exceptional. It's truly what Baz Brothers stands for. So how did you guys, like, get that team together? How do you guys work together to, let's say, audition actors for your plays? I know that you said you do mo movies as well as stage plays. And I'm going to throw, you have to name drop. Tell us who's in Love and Success. Who's one of the main actors? In Love and Success, we have uh, Angie Stone. As Love well her. As Danny Vincent. <laughs> In one of our stage plays, the latest one that's getting ready to go on tour, The Strength of Love, we have Chandra Corelli. Really? Yes. Ooh. ooh, ooh. <laughs> so, okay, for all those aspiring, um, let's just talk about actors for just a second. Okay. What is the process if somebody wanted, do you guys do an open call? How would somebody get your attention? How would they get Baz Brothers' attention? Well, uh, we always take submissions via our website, okay. bazbrothersproduction.com. Uh, but whenever we're doing a specific project, we always have casting calls and we have open auditions. Uh, we don't like to do a lot of placement of actors and actresses because we want to see what talent is out there and the best talent be a part of our project. So we do have open auditions. So that's when they do the read. Somebody comes in and they read for you. Always do cold reads. Do you yes. give feedback for the cold read? or We do. Uh, normally we have a panel, myself, my husband, and then a couple of our team members oh, would be on it so that we have a full <laughs> panel. It's not just one person right, making right, right. those decisions. Fantastic. Yes. Fantastic. Well, guys, stay tuned. We are going to talk about your film. I want to talk a little bit more about Love and Success and what's coming up for Baz Brothers Productions. We'll be right back. Not getting enough indie style? Watch full episodes at IndieStyleTV.com and be sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube to find out who is doing it indie style. And we are back with Baz Brothers Productions, lovely Maria Bazil. Thank you again for joining us. They're really busy. Like literally after they leave here, they're going to do a radio interview. You guys are kind of on the move promoting your artists and promoting your film. So yes. I appreciate your time today. Glad to be here. Let's talk a little bit about some of your plays and some of your movies. Tell me something that, some accolades that you guys have accomplished with your films. We've done several projects. We have done a web series called Only God Can Judge Me, which is viewable on our website. 
uh, the first episode won a uh, third place nomination in the Kingdom One Film Festival. Wow. We've done several stage plays, including Broken and Bitter and The Strength of Love, which is upcoming on a tour with Ms. Chandra Corelli. Oh, wow. We have film. My husband is doing film a long time. So we have uh, currently the Love and Success independent film coming out by the end of this year, as well as the soundtrack that is currently out featuring artists as Noel Gordine. He's so Robinson, awesome, you guys. Awesome. <laughs> formerly mem- former members of Profile as well as Ray Charles' daughter, all kind of great artists. It's really good music on the soundtrack. It's bringing back R&B and that grown and sexy feel so that it's not just something that you want to skip through, but you can put it in your car and let it play. It's really great. I was listening to it this morning from track to track. It's beautiful. And you do. You kind of miss that um, R&B sound, Yes, that Jodeci, that baby face. So I love that you are bringing it back. I call that... All music as an artist is to each his own, but it's really quality music. It's really beautiful. Well, it's very good that we just partnered with World Star Hip Hop Radio, and they have um, decided to put that on the air because R and B is coming back. So we're very excited about that. Love and Sex Plus is going places. Mass Brothers Production. If you don't know the name, you will know the name by the end of the year. You will know the name by the end of the year because you guys have done a lot. I kind of say in a short amount of time. Oftentimes, you hear about a lot of the major. Uh, film production companies they've been in existence for 15 years or 20 years and sometimes then they get that big big break yeah my my husband and I talk a lot about the company because we are independent and the two of us do a lot of things on our own Uh, we're building a team that is great for us but a lot of times when you're doing it alone it seems like you're jumping hurdles trying to get to where you're going right but it seems like when we do move we make big moves so this Baz Brothers is moving and it's moving fast we have distribution here in the United States as well as the UK and Africa for the film so we're about to be internationally alone so we are so excited about things that are upcoming with Baz Brothers starting with this love and success I'm sure that you are and as we talked about earlier you guys they have offices here in Atlanta and also in New York tell us who's in New York because we talked about the Baz Brothers that is tell us who the Baz Brothers are once again that's your husband well the Baz Brothers are Jeff Bazil which is my husband lovely guy and uh, Kendrick Bazil which is in New York he holds it down for us up there Uh, we fly back and forth sometimes for projects bigger um productions and things of that nature but he holds it down in New York while we hold it down in Atlanta okay and once again you know we were talking about that um you know you have Angie Stone on your upcoming film yes I keep saying that because I love her love her love Mm -hmm. her and also the other who's the other actor that you have that's a known actor that we have Danny Vincent and see I love how you're mixing the independent artist with the major artist Yes. how you're doing that. We also have upcoming artist Rico Ball, which you have seen in Single Ladies, you've seen him in uh, The Walking Dead, you've seen him in TV commercials. He's an up-and-coming, and he's the lead actor in Love and Success, and this is going to be good for his career because he's his face is becoming more and more known. Okay, well, I'm, I'm so nosy, and the question I'm going to ask you when we come back is, how do you get an Angie Stone on an independent film? I want to know that. I'm not telling. Don't you guys want to know how she did that? <laughs> we'll be right back. on Indie Style will feature successful entrepreneurs from across the globe who are making incredible strides in their industry. You may not know their names yet, but you soon will. I'm Leah Devon, and this is Indie Style. And welcome back to Indie Style. I am sitting here again with the lovely Maria Bazil, and she's with Baz Brothers Productions. So you guys have a film that's coming out, or it's actually, you guys have done a few uh, events. Yes. Uh, or what is it, movie screenings. Mm-hmm. What is it, mu- movie, movie screenings. Movie yes. screenings. Um, I want to know, I'm going to see if I can get her to tell me, you know, how do you get, like, an Angie Stone in your film? How do, how do you bring attention to your company to get somebody like that? Well, with independent film, you have to have a name for it to make noise. Um, A lot of times when it's independent film with no name, you're not going to get distribution. So sometimes it's about who you know. Sometimes it's making those connections and building those relationships, which Baz Brothers is very uh, keen on, is not squashing and burning bridges. 
uh, building relationships and everybody that we work with, and it turns into a good thing, which brings on people like Lindsay Stone. That is fantastic. And also, you know, if I was an up-and-coming actor and I wanted to first find out about uh, an audition, mm -hmm. how, do you, how, do, how do we find out about that? Well, all of our information is always on our website, which okay. is www.bazbazbrothersproduction.com. Uh, we always post what we have going on and when we have auditions coming up. Uh, we're always taking submissions, so even if it's not posted currently and you send us your information, we'll put you on our email list and oh, our nice. email blast. We've so just that's started a big sending one. out newsletters. That's a big one. The yes. email. Okay. Mm -hmm. Start sending us your information now. And um, advice for up-and-coming actors or actresses would definitely be be, be business-minded. If okay. you want to do this, go get your headshots. Have a resume. Come with a good attitude. You're not always going to get a yes. Don't slam my door on your way out because no. you got to know. No, stop it. Yes. No. So That's bad be behavior. Don't do that. Definitely be really? professional. <laughs> wow. Definitely be professional. We're going to call him that. Mm -mm. Wow. <laughs> okay. No, it's, I, I think you hear it so much and it's so interesting that you will get so many no's. That's yes. just, it, it just takes that one yes, yes and the persistence and believing in yourself and working on your craft. Yes, don't give at up. At the end of the day. So that is really good advice and I really appreciate that. Now, I'm excited because I want to talk about love and success. Tell us a little bit of the backstory about love and success. What what's, what's it about? Okay, love and success was written and directed by my husband. Believe it or not, it was a film he was writing when we first met eight years ago. Oh. He was having a brain fart and he got online <laughs> and that's how we met. He's like, I don't know, I'm stuck. So from there we have love and success. Um, it's a film about three guys who are successful. One who has given up love to find success, but okay. now that he has success, he's looking for love. But do you love me for my money, or do you love me for me? Oh. So there's a lot going on, a lot of hidden stories. There's a, a little woman's group in there that I'm not going to tell you too much about. you got to go see the film. Go see the film. Um, but uh, <laughs> it's a really good movie that uh, moves along. You know, life, uh, temptations, five heartbeats, right? You have those lines and those scenes that are timeless, that oh, are forgettable, wow. that everybody quotes. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. will be love and success. Oh, uh, anybody that sees it, the next time you talk to them, they're quoting lines from the film. So that it's definitely going to be a household film that's great. It's uh, it's really good that it's coming out this fourth quarter. Great Christmas present. So uh, bundled with the soundtrack, great music, oh, my great gosh. holiday gift. Yeah, that's a done deal. I, w I cannot wait to see now. You've got me all like... I can't wait to see. So, guys, once again, tell everybody where they can find you. Okay. Baz Brothers Production is www.bazbrothersproduction.com. Okay, and one of my favorite questions, I love to do this. Where do you see your company, let's say 10 years from now? Where would you like to see you guys? We will be an international name making several independent films and stage plays all over the world. That is fantastic. And once again, stage plays too. I love that. You guys are just doing it. You're doing it big. And I love that you're doing it, as I say, indie style. So yes. good for you. Thank you. I wish you abundant success. I know I'm not going to have to wish you that because you guys are already just doing it so big. Congratulations. Thank you so much for taking the time to come here today. It was so nice to meet Thank you. Thank you for having me. The very nice best to you. to you and your company. Thank you. We'll be right back. Are you still doing it indie style? To be a guest on our show, visit our website today at IndieStyleTV.com. Hey guys, welcome back to Indie Style. And I tell you, I'm very excited because we have an incredibly talented artist here today. Guys, this is Noel Gordine. Um, I'm sure you already know who he is. Since you've been, your YouTube views are insane. But by the way, welcome to Indie Style. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate you for having me. So incredibly talented. So thank let's you. tell our viewers if they don't know um, a little bit about your backstory. You were with Sony Records. I was with Sony uh, with, uh, well, first Columbia, and then I went over to Epic with Charlie Walk and the rest of the team. But uh, I got signed in 2005, and uh, my, my album After My Time came out in 2008. So, uh, you know, it, it was putting in a lot of work. I met up with a couple of people in, in back home. Uh, I'm from Boston originally, but uh, meeting up with a producer, a friend of mine, uh, Tommy T.O. Oliveri in Rhode Island. Okay. And we just started putting together a, a, a catalog and, and started traveling, you know, scrounging out whatever money we could to rent a car get and traveling to, to New York. Done, and, right? Yeah, <laughs> New York and New Jersey. Um, T.O. had worked with KG in the past. Uh, of Naughty by Nature, mm -hmm. and uh, we started going to Divine Mill and just working, and, and you know, ended up going after meeting up with KG, ended up going to LA and meeting with Dr. Dre, 
in uh, Mike Lynn and Mike City out there and worked with Dr. Dre for about a month. And, okay. you know, so that was, uh, uh, all of that was like validation for me. A you know, and this was before this. I was even signed. Oh, really? Oh. So, wow, wow, wow. you know, and then went back and, and KG was working on the, the soundtrack for the movie The Cookout at that time. And, you know, ended up getting a record on there, the family reunion at the beginning of the record. Okay. The beginning of the movie, rather. And, uh, you know, from there on, it's just been history and just trying to trying to make the best music possible. And, uh, you know, get, right. it, get, it, get it in front of people. And, right. And well, I, I love, I, I had a chance to, I've been listening to his music for the past few days, and he's going to, both of the songs are amazing, but I'm so excited that we're going to actually get to hear you perform today. Yay. Um, but, like, you... You were on Billboard for like 15 weeks or something insane. Yeah, with my first record, The River. Um, He's going to sing that today. Yeah, I'm going I'm <laughs> to sing that. And, uh, you know, that was, it was incredible because the the reception that that record had. Uh, and knowing that it was a retro feel type of record, it was right. very nostalgic. Right. And, uh, you know, I still get thanked to this day for, for making and, and performing that record. It's so beautiful, beautiful. Is that like kind of a little bit of a biography type of? I mean, yeah, when we all got together, it was myself, Belayla Muhammad, that wrote on it, um, Arama Brown, which is the female voice that you hear on it, okay. and uh, my man CK. We were all just sitting there, and either all of us are from the South or our family's from the South, so right, right, right. we just started talking about, you know, little anecdotes and yeah. things that's, that, that's happened in our lives. Right, and, right, right. You know, four hours later, we, we it wrote it, so and we, we finished the Same. recording on it. So. And I read that Steve Harvey showed you incredible love, that he... Incredible. Mess up. <laughs> yes, he did. He did. He actually heard it from my man Kay and Kelly. Okay. From you know XM Serious, and then he, Steve always said that he would get in the car or whatever, wherever he would be, he would hear the record, but he would hear it at the tail end. So this one particular night, he actually heard it from the beginning and saw my name scroll across, and he heard Kay and say my name, and you know the next morning, uh, you know when they was live. He, he was blowing up my manager. Did you get that Everything call? Was happening. You know how yeah. they say you get a call early in the morning, like, is this good or bad if they're calling me at five? It was, but you know what, Leah? Like, I was I was back home in Boston, and I had just got back from, you know, being in the studio and on the road and all of that, and I was knocked out. And the, the call came to my then manager, and I had probably 50 messages. My phone was dead. So, you know, when I when I got a little bit of up. juice back in my phone, it was blink, 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 blink. So... Yeah, that was, it was a, it was a wonderful call. It, it you know it changed my life and you wow, know, you are incredibly gifted. It's so interesting because it's like real R and B. It's just like when is it coming back? And right. I feel like it now is beginning to come mm -hmm. back. The true singers. I mean, you know that everybody's that's... a good singer. Let me make a disclaimer. We love it. Everybody's <laughs> yeah, yeah, right, music, right. but you know what I'm saying? Like, <clears throat> no, I R&B's absolutely... been gone. It's like. Okay, I'm ready for it to come back. When's it coming back? But you know what? It's it's kind of crazy that, you know, a lot of people say it's been gone, it's been missing, but it's really the support for it that's been missing. There we go. I agree. You know, right, and, right, and, right. and it radio. seems like, right. And there's no pioneers anymore. It's a lot of cookie cutter. Yeah. A lot of the artists look and sound the same. Right. So when it's something different, they might want to get behind it, but they don't want to take a chance on it. There's not a lot of pioneers left. So, right. you know, all we can do is make the best music for the people that want to hear it. And then hopefully, like you said, it's coming back around. Right. We'll be back on top where it should be. I'm excited. So, also, you're going to, uh, he's the title track from the film. Tell yeah. us tell us the song. Did you write it, produce it? Tell me a little bit about it. I wrote it, and I, um, you know, had a little bit of insight of what I wanted to hear as far as the track to my man, Ty Macklin, uh, okay. out of Dallas, Fort Worth. And uh, we, we put it together, um, just me and him. And, and really, I wrote it, and... And, uh, you know, I got a, a Vance, uh, I was blessed enough to get an advanced copy of the, of the film and check it out. And really, you know, I take a lot of pride in forming it to what they wanted it for. You know, so I wanted to right. tell the story of the film right. with the record. So It is so good. You guys, I, I, you, gotta, you guys stay tuned and hear him sing it. I'm so excited you're going to sing it. But I'm going to put you on the spot when we come back. Mm -hmm. But I'll give you a hint. Okay. I want you to give advice to aspiring artists. Mm -hmm. Tell me where you're going to be in about 10 years from now. Cool. We'll be right back. Not getting enough Indie Style? Watch full episodes at IndieStyleTV.com and be sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube to find out who is doing it Indie Style. Hey guys, and we are back with the super talented, did you hear I said super, Noel Gordine. I am so excited because you have to stick around because he's going to sing not one but two songs for you in just a bit. So for all those independent artists mm -hmm. that are watching right now, yeah. give some advice. Like, how do you do what you did? 
Well, really, it's it's believing in yourself first and foremost. You know, knowing that you can do it. A lot of that positive energy and that optimistic, um, you know, you have to have that optimism about yourself. If you don't, nobody else is going to feel you. So I always say, be yourself. You know, don't don't be any other. You know, everybody else is taking this up for you. So be you. Um, you know, believe in what you do because it, it comes across on track. It really does. There's a lot of talented folks out there that that do it just because they can do it. You okay, know what I mean? Yeah, no, I understand. Uh, you know, you go you find. I mean, it's tough to find a team that really believes in you just as much as you do. But that will all fall into place as long as you do what you can control. And and what I mean by that is if you, if you need work on the stage, go find some some karaoke nights or or you know something that gets your 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 performance um, level your, your up. Performance yeah, level up sense, and your, right? you know and and just working on yourself. So I always say, be yourself. Be true to the artist that's within. Do not quit because believe me when I say a lot of no's can be erased with one yes. So. Remember that and just just be true to to the artist that's within you. That's great advice. I've been hearing that a lot. Um, you're going to get nose. Did you get nose? I'm I sure. got a bunch okay. of those. <laughs> you thought, oh, yeah. <laughs> and look where he is today. Okay. Yeah. Um, so where do you see yourself in 10 years? Are you going to continue, you know, writing and performing music? Or what are you going to do? I don't think I'll ever give up on, on you know, writing, performing music. I mean, I mean, it's just what I love what to you do. do. You know, I, yeah. I was young, sitting in the back of my pop old Pontiac Granville, and it was all that soul music that he played that I fell in love with soul music, you right. know. So I don't really never see myself stop uh, stopping making or, or performing music, but I would love to, you know, extend into other areas of, of entertainment, okay. you know, uh, acting, um, you know, whatever it is, the screenwriting, all of that kind of stuff. I want to... You got the after look. You could do it. Well, I, you got the you know, after I'm thing. Like, yeah, oh, you know how yeah. those, they cross Appreciate over from that. the singing to the acting. You mm -hmm. hear what she said? <laughs> but, uh, you know, just 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 trying to maybe sometimes step outside of my, my comfort zone right. and, and see what I'm made of. Right, yeah, right, 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 you know? right. So, and then I just want to do some charity stuff and get back to, nice. to un underprivileged kids and stuff oh, like that. Oh, I love that. that. You know? Okay, I'd like him even more, I tell you. I tell you. But listen, you, you have to stick around because now it was amazing meeting you, first of all. Thank you so much for Pleasure. coming on. Thank you. But when we come back, we are going to hear, like I said, not one but two songs from Noel Gordine. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Here on Indie Style, we'll feature successful entrepreneurs from across the globe who are making incredible strides in their industry. You may not know their names yet, but you soon will. I'm Leah Devon, and this is Indie Style. And guys, we are back, and as I promised, uh, Noel is going to sing for you. I'm so excited. He's going to sing the title track from Love and Success, and he's also going to sing another song. I love them both. Called mm -hmm. The River. Yes. Thanks so much. Thank you. Be well.
She really digging you enough to build a life with Only digging your financial Mississippi dirt roads and Confederate flags. Every day my father would tell me, son, run and don't never come back. That's where I left my girl. That's where my heart is at. Oh, I held my breath when they dipped my hands and I came up shining you. Found out about love in the back of my car where they laid my grandfather to run by the river. Black folk out as the Sunday service is through on the river. Oh, yeah. I got a long way to go. I'm moving on. I made this scars up well. I think of her then for a card or a letter in the mail. I walk the beach with the sand in my feet, place my ear up to a shell. I wondered if you miss me too Cause I've been lonely to get to you I'm sick of staring 